All right, friends, welcome back. It's been a few days since I posted a new video, but I have been doing a lot of work on stuff and uh, ChatGPT is obviously exploding. So we're back here for another video to show you how to do cool stuff. One of the most important things that it seems that ChatGPT Chat users are focused on is generating content. I think out of all the different types of applications that are available, uh, coding things and so forth, content creation is seemingly like the, one of the biggest ones. And never before has it been so easy to generate content, to put it on your website, to rank and so forth. Uh, however, the challenges with that have been that if you just use something like ChatGPT to create generic content, you may be able to rank for super low competition keywords, but you're not gonna break into the upper ranks on competitive keywords with generic content. It's just not really gonna happen. So there is a workflow of developed here piecing together a whole lot of different softwares and so forth are going to be necessary. I'm going to quickly walk you through what I've been working on that seems to be working quite well. Number one, you need to make sure that you have some type of keyword tool. No matter what kind of keyword tool you use, if it's free, if you want to use something like Uber Suggest, I'll put a link to that one below. Uh, if you're using Hrefs, if you're using SEMrush, those are popular tools that can get a little pricey you got to do a little bit of keyword research. You cannot pull all your keyword research from ChatGPT. It does not have internet access. It's not going to give you a full list, but it can help you generate keyword ideas. So once you have a keyword tool and you're pulling together a series of keywords, you need to be able to put things into topic clusters. The challenge with writing content, especially if you're going to put up a new website, whether it's an affiliate website or whatever it is, is you're going to pull tons and tons of keywords and many of them are redundant. There are uh, two different ways to say the same thing. So you need to put these into clusters and a few different ways that you can do this. If we use something like Surfer SEO, Surfer SEO will help you chunk your content or your keywords into these different essentially clusters so that you can put together uh, keywords that are related into a single article and also give it what we call the in searcher's intent, whether or not that's gonna be an informational search, whether it's gonna be a, a commercial search, like they're looking for a product and so forth. You see here, for example, customer investigation. So once you've done that and you've put your, th your uh, keywords into clusters, then the next thing is to actually write the content. Two of the things that are gonna work well for that, ChatGPT is gonna help you write content. It has its pluses and minuses, but you're also going to want to have a tool like Jasper, which is an AI writer. Jasper is fantastic. It integrates, it uses the GPT-3 model. So it's using a lot of the same stuff, but the interface sometimes isn't as clean. Jasper now has what I would call a chat GPT alternative at the upper levels called Jasper Chat. So they're jumping into the chat game. It's very useful. I find it a bit slower easier to use ChatGPT, so it's nice to have them both open at the same time. But the challenge is, of course, when ChatGPT is down, you're going to need something else and you can use Jasper Chat. So the cool thing, if you're not familiar with Jasper, is when you go through here, they have all sorts of templates. You can go through and create things like blog posts, creative stories. It's essentially like different prompts, same kind of structure as what we were talking about in other videos with ChatGPT. So for example, we might use the blog post uh, outline creator and all of that sort of thing. There are other things in here with Jasper, just to throw that in there so you know, you've got awesome things like, for example, how to create the perfect nonfiction book. And when you open that recipe, you'll see that it literally outlines the entire structure on how to write a nonfiction book and you can add in your own content along with prompts with Jasper to rip these things out fast. A lot of people are making books now in seven days sometimes or less because it's a topic they're already familiar with and they're going in there and using AI to just rip stuff out. It is awesome. So once you have that and you're working between Jasper and ChatGPT to actually generate the AI content, for a lot of people that's the hardest part, then we want to start optimizing. And optimization, Jasper is the only AI writer, as far as I know right now, that will integrate with a software that is phenomenal that is called Surfer SEO. We talked about that with the topic clusters here. Surfer SEO gives a rating for 
the top roughly 10 pieces of content that are ranking for a given keyword, let's say in this uh, example, ChatGPT for real estate, it looks at the top ranking uh, articles and it will pull in the average of what you need to do to rank within that. So for example, the amount of words, 797 to 917, how many headings should you have, how many paragraphs and images. It will also use NLP, natural language processing, to give us an idea of what other types of words and phrases should be included in that content at how much, how many times. So when you've got all your outlines put together and you have your content with uh, ChatGPT and Jasper, put everything in here and you start generating your content, you're also gonna bounce back and forth here, taking a look at this number, which is a rating scale between eight and 100 to get that content rated up pretty high. Now we're doing all of these things to up the ante on the quality of the content that we're creating. And that way we're moving beyond copy paste generic content from ChatGPT and we're improving upon it so we have a better chances of ranking. Now, the other thing that we wanna do after we pass it through Surfer SEO is to run it through some type of grammar-based checker like Grammarly or Quillbot and so forth. We wanna correct grammatical mistakes. Those are important in the writing process. We also wanna do a little bit of fact checking. AI is notorious for producing uh, information that is not entirely accurate or just false due to inability to access the internet. So what we need to do is to go through and fact check that information so it doesn't cut into rankings or the user experience. Once we do that, then we've got to look at images. How do you put images on blog posts? Now those AI generators, mid journeys and so forth, you have to get good at prompting for that to create uh, images that we can use in blog posts or you're using uh, the classics, which is Unsplash and uh, Pexels so that you can get images to use and use your keywords as alt tags in your blog post in order to improve your SEO on page. And of course, we would be checking that with a plugin called Rank Math, which is a very popular one to include, especially if you're using a WordPress website, to go through a final sweep to make sure that everything is as optimized as you possibly can before you push that content live. After that, we move on to SEO processes. That's gonna be our link building, our social sharing, all of that sort of thing. So this is the flow of things that essentially is going to be where it's all at in terms of optimal use of ChatGPT and of course Jasper because it's kind of accomplishing the same thing, which is producing content that is gonna rank really well in Google. Now, of course, the thing that I did not throw in here, which is running it through based on what we've also seen, AI detector. Now, if you've done a good job here, and this is not something I've talked about, but a lot of fleshing out in Jasper works really well to pass AI detection. So there's a lot of other videos on this right now, everybody arguing about this, but at the end of the day, what does Google really care about? Google just uh, came out with um, a new article or their uh, information regarding their position on AI, they don't care if the AI is written, if it, the content is written in AI, but it has to satisfy the needs of the user. That's what matters. So if it's valuable to the user, it's giving them a good experience, they're getting the content and the information that they're searching for, then Google's gonna rank it. I still wouldn't take the chances and just stick 100% recognizable AI content out there. I wanna see what's gonna happen. But right now, this is the process we're gonna be working with here using various softwares. Now I know that these softwares can add up, they can be a little bit pricey, but if you really wanna get in on this game right now and produce high volumes of content for your own projects, whether that's affiliate marketing or your own business, or if you're putting your toes into the area of writing content for other people as your business, this is what you're gonna to need to do in order to produce the quality stuff that is gonna get ranked in Google, it's gonna stick, you're gonna get those clicks, and then you're gonna get conversions off of that stuff. So I wanna wrap this video and I don't wanna to talk too long, but I'll include links to these tools below. We're also gonna be having some videos here in the near future of kind of running through how to optimize these things. 
but I wanted to show you how to utilize ChatGPT for content creation in a way that's gonna be effective. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe to the channel. Lots more stuff coming up soon. Thanks for watching.